Now we're ready to get scanning. We have our console, we have our viewing device, and we have our probe. Our cows are set up, it's a nice safe environment, everything's nice and calm, and we're ready to go. So we'll put a glove on. I will be scanning right-handed today. We'll just have a quick recap on how to hold the probe and the movements that we can make once we're inside the cow. So firstly, we need to remember this is our leading edge, which corresponds to the left-hand side of our screen. We need to palm the probe. So if we have one finger on the leading edge of the probe, then we know where we are at all times. We then have several fingers on either side that can help us orientate where we are within the cow. So whether we're on top of the uterus or on top of the ovaries, it gives us a, an idea of where we're actually located. You can use your thumb as a backstop to the back of the probe. This will help us as we're moving inside the cow to ensure that the probe doesn't travel back down our arm. So again, palm the probe, finger on the leading edge, have your other three fingers on either side, and use your thumb as a backstop. The movements that we can make are move forward or back, pressure, rotating side to side and rocking or tilting. Now we're ready to go inside the cow. We will need to use gentle handling techniques just as you would with manual palpation. So we'll get some ultrasound loop and I put that both in my palm and also on the back of my hand. We'll cover the surface of the probe and we'll use what's on the back of our hand to lubricate the cow. Gently grasp the tail. Use the back of your hand. It's all right, girl. And closing your fingers around the end of the probe. We're now inside the cow. We want to perform our examination in a methodical way. So we can start back at the cervix, travel up to the uterine body, then go up one uterine horn to the ovary and back to the uterine body. Then we can go up the other horn, up to the ovary on the other side, and back down to the uterine body. If we then want to evaluate any structures further, so we wanted to have another look at the ovary or another look at the pregnancy, say if we're going to perform some fetal sexing of that fetus, then we can go back and evaluate that. But we want to ensure that we've seen all of the structures that we can when we're inside the cow. So what we'll now do is locate the cervix, which is a firm, tubular structure leading down into the rest of the reproductive tract. And there it is. Don't get confused of the bladder, which you will often see right as you enter into the cow. As you can see, I'm not pushing excessively hard with my arm into the cow at this point. If the cow does have a significant amount of fecal material, we will need to remove that most likely to improve the contact and the quality of the ultrasound image we obtain. If it's a multiparous cow and we're wanting to evaluate the ovaries, for example, we may need to actually grasp the cervix or the intercorneal ligament 
and retract the uterus back into the pelvic canal so that we can evaluate all of the structures that we need to. In this cow, the uterus is located very nicely within the pelvic canal, so I won't need to, to do that in this particular cow. What we'll do now is locate the cervix again, move slightly cranially or forward within the cow, always keeping good contact. Then what we can do is travel up one horn, up to the ovary, and we can rock side to side to evaluate the ovarian structures. We can then come back down that horn to the body of the uterus, travel up the opposite horn, evaluate the ovary on that side, and then come back to the body. If there are any other structures that we want to visualize within this cow, then we can do that at this time. Once we've seen everything that we need to see, we can then gently come out of the cow. Now we're going to look at another cow. You can either use the same glove or use a different glove, depending on the protocols on the farm. We'll use a different glove for this cow. ultrasound probe, the head of it, away from any potential hazards at all times. We'll now grasp the probe again, get some more lube. Thank you. Lubricate the surface of the probe. To our next cow, use the back of our hand. Grasp the probe with the leading edge. Hold it in the palm of our hand. Use our thumb as a backstop. And go into the cow. We'll again come to the cervical region. We can retract the uterus into the pelvic canal if need be. We don't need to do that in this particular cow. So if you begin to strain, just allow it to pass until they relax. And then gently proceed inwards. Ensure you have good contact. to the body of the uterus. Travel up one uterine horn, up to the ovary. Come back down to the body of the uterus, up the other uterine horn. Evaluate the ovary on that side. Back to the body. And then out once more. 
and this is the process that we follow to examine the reproductive tract using ultrasound in these cows.